For most visitors, Delhi is going to be your first experience of India, so you might as well embrace it. Your adventure has to start here at the Spice Market. It's like nothing you've ever seen before, and it has to be one of the busiest places here in Delhi. And if it's spices that you're after, you've definitely come to the right place. If you want to make that perfect curry, this is the place to be. The second you get here, you can smell it spilling onto the street. All of the aromas, colours and sounds of India in one hit. And that's just the beginning of our scenic tour's journey through India. From our first taste here in the capital, New Delhi, we'll be working our way around the state of Rajasthan to the sacred river Ganges in Varanasi and all the captivating way to the Taj Mahal in Agra. How are we going to crossbred? It's so busy. Well, this is Indian frog at its best, so you're just going to take it on and just go. Oh, this. Just jump in. Hey, mate. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Oh, we're in. Take a ride on the wild side and try the scenic tours rickshaw ride. You know, some of these women are carrying such massive packs on their, their head. More than 1.2 billion people live in this amazing country and almost 20 million of them just in Delhi alone. Yeah. I've lost count of the amount of times I've been to India and seeing just how tough they've got it here inspired me to start a foundation to help enrich the lives of young Indian kids through the power of music. Hello, hello. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, please, no <laughs> There are five permanent centres, but now we've gone mobile with the music bus. Where are we off to today? We're going to Azadpur, uh, which is a slum community uh, in northeast Delhi. Our mission is to reach the kids in the poorest areas, and Emily Harrison makes it all happen. So uh, we've got a whole heap of instruments on board today. We've got a guitar, a tabla, harmonium, uh, keyboards and things so the kids can all get hands on. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun and I think most importantly too, like the kids will, will see what we've got to offer. It's something different. It gets them into a learning environment. The program aims to help kids living in the slums who don't go to school because many are too busy working to put food on the table. from my first music lesson, a counting song. My plan is to give the kids a start at maths and reading through music. I hope this inspires them to want to learn more and go to school. which used to be the capital of the Mughal Empire that once ruled India. The 
area is now the Islamic heart of the city and where you'll find the biggest and the most famous mosque in the land, the Jama Masjid. Every Friday, over 25,000 people come here to pray, and it's incredible to think that it took 5,000 men 13 years to build this. Worshippers wash before prayer, and there is also a strict dress code for visitors. Everyone's welcome, but no shorts, sleeveless tops, and women must wear head cover, and definitely no entry into the mosque for women during prayers. I found a peaceful veranda to soak it all in and enjoy the last rays of the afternoon sun.